Hello everyone. So in this experiment we will be studying the effect of inhibitor on activity of an enzyme called as acid phosphatase. In our previous video we have studied the effect of varying substrate concentration on the activity of an enzyme acid phosphatase. So today we will be studying the effect of inhibitor. If we add the inhibitor how the enzyme activity gets affected that we are going to see over here. So our main objective or the aim is to find out the effect of inhibitor on the activity of an enzyme acid phosphatase. So as you all know in whenever we add competitive inhibitor what happens generally is the velocity of the rea competitive inhibitors fight for the active site fight for the binding of inhibitor to the active site. So inhibitor will fight with the substrate for the active uh, uh, for the binding to the active site of enzyme so what will happen over here and there will be a fight between substrate and enzyme uh, substrate and uh, inhibitor for the fight of active site uh, uh, there will be a fight for active site binding to the active site so and what will happen if the inhibitor concentration is more the substrate will not bind instead of that enzyme will bind and as we saw in the earlier uh, experiment the explanation we 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 studied that enzyme binds with the substrate to form, form enzyme substrate com complex but if inhibitor is present enzyme substrate complex will not form instead of that enzyme inhibitor complex ei complex instead of es complex ef complex will form so and what will be the effect on km and vmax vmax is maximum velocity and km is a michaelis menten constant which is uh, which also tells us about the affinity of the enzyme towards its substrate enzyme ka substrate ke liye affinity kitna hai ye km batata hai to agar inhibitor ka concentration zyada hai to substrate aur inhibitor ke beech mein fight hoga enzyme ke active site ko bind karne ke liye aur Vmax वैसे ही रहेगा Vmax velocity के ऊपर कोई effect नहीं होगा क्योंकि active site के ऊपर enzyme bind, bound हो या substrate bound हो it will not be affected but enzyme और substrate का जो दोस्ती है वो inhibitor क्या है नहीं से कही ना कही affected होगा तो enzyme और substrate का दोस्ती that is affinity of enzyme and substrate will get reduced that is K, Km increase होगा तो affinity decrease होगा it is a reverse relationship और uh, inverse relationship we can say so if km is high then we can say the affinity of enzyme and substrate is low if the km is low we can say the affinity of enzyme and substrate is high so if the inhibitor is present the relationship the friendship between enzyme and substrate will be affected the km will increase in that case but but the vmax that is maximum velocity will remain unaffected and this we are going to prove with the help of an experiment so what is enzyme as uh, the same enzyme we are going to study that is acid phosphatase marker enzyme of lysosome but we are using the source potato extract for extraction of enzyme and the reaction will be carried out using a citrate buffer of 4.8 pH as, as I told you ki, uh, acid phosphatase is the enzyme that works in the acidic pH okay works better at acidic pH and the kh 2 pu 4 that is potassium dihydrogen phosphate will be acting as a competitive inhibitor over here so inhibitor is kh 2 pu 4 that is potassium dihydrogen phosphate i repeat potassium dihydrogen phosphate it is a competitive inhibitor pnpp is a substrate that is p nitrophenyl phosphate and enzyme is acid phosphatase so kh 2 pu 4 here will be used as a competitive inhibitor uh, and the effect of that will be studied so uh, let us move on to the procedure how uh, it is going to happen so here you can see composition here we are going to make two series basically e series that is experimental series and we are going to make a control series so here if we see at the experimental series here you can see pnpp that is a substrate that we have added in the increasing concentration first is substrate blank and citrate buffer with inhibitor that is kh2po4 has been added in this particular inhibitor so 
we we have just added a little bit of inhibitor into it that is KH2PO4 into the buffer of pH 4.8 and we have taken the precaution that the pH of the buffer will not get affected due to addition of KH2PO4. So citrate buffer ka pH 4.8 or KH2PO4 ke addition ki which is say it should not get disturbed that precaution we have take, taken and we have added very little amount of inhibitor into this citrate buffer then we have added distilled water then enzyme extract and then we have incubated at room temperature at 37 degrees celsius and 0.1 normal NaOH we have added 3 ml into each tube this is the final concentration which is written over here so and we have colorimetrically estimated it using uh, the wavelength 420 nanometer using a colorimeter 420 nanometer is a wavelength the absorbance is noted at 420 nanometer because yellow color we get and yellow color can be colorimetrically estimated at 420 nanometer so here so in experimental series what we have done we have added inhibitor into the buffer and in control series the difference is the only difference is that citrate buffer is without any kind of inhibitor so everywhere we have added 1 ml of inhibitor but it is without inhibitor control is without inhibitor and E series is with uh, experimental series is with inhibitor that is the only difference rest all components you can see here PMPP distilled water enzyme extract and NaOH all the parameters are same so these are the two series and two two ODs we will get so OD with inhibitor and OD without inhibitor after that what we have to do we have to draw the uh, graph Michaelis maintain graph or Michaelis maintain plot as we have drawn in the substrate concentrate so here you can see here you can see on x-axis I have taken substrate concentration on y-axis I have taken OD at 420 nanometer and here you can see I got the absorbance little absorbance with inhibitor so absorbance was noted with inhibitor was lesser as compared to without inhibitor in without inhibitor the absorbance of a uh, color was more the uh, activity was more you, here you can see hmm. the title has been given over here different symbols have been allotted from for control series and experimental series and here you can see on x-axis I have taken the substrate concentration on y-axis I have taken the OD okay so with and without and we get a hyperbolic graph but with for with inhibitor we get a lesser values and for without inhibitor we get more values so this kind of graph we get now let us study how to plot line weaver bar plot uh, because we have to calculate km and vmax and we have to check whether the statement given in the book that is vmax remains same and KM uh, increases in the presence of competitive inhibitor. So we have to cross check whether it happens so or not by drawing the line weaver bar plot. So for plotting line weaver bar plot, I have again take, uh, taken the reciprocal of uh, substrate concentrations that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 micromolars or milli, millimolars uh, concentrations are there. So uh, I have taken the reciprocal of substrate concentration and I have uh, noted the experimental series ka OD. So that is absorbance I have noted and I have taken the reciprocal of uh, experimental series the OD of experimental series which we got uh, from here if we so these OD the reciprocal of all these experimental ODs I have taken and I have just written all those values with the reciprocal same I have done for the control series without inhibitor series so control series ke liye bhi substrate concentration 1 by substrate concentration OD I have taken and reciprocal of these this OD I have taken so inverse I have taken and now we I, we have to plot uh, what line weaver bar plot so for plotting line weaver bar plot here you can see I have done it 1 by S on the x axis and 1 by V on the y axis so 1 by v or 1 by od i have taken 1 by v or 1 by od it is said i have taken on y axis on and x axis i have taken 1 by s here i have taken negative values and here i have taken positive values so the 1 by s values uh, which i got over here for this purpose so 1 by s values which i have got for experimental series as well as for uh, experimental series as well as for control series and 1 by OD values on y axis I have plotted those values on this particular graph I have joined all the points and you can see over here the intersection of these with and without wala plot so uh, the intersection between the two lines is there so for control I have used a uh, triangle whereas for experimental I have uh, used circle 
and dot inside it so i have plotted the graph and here you can see intersection on this particular point what does this intersection tells us about so 1 by v max value is 2.3 and 1 by v max value, value uh, intersection of two lines is there so 1 by v max is same for both the uh, series experimental and control so if 1 by v max is same if we take the reciprocal of that v max is also going to be same and what about km so if i take there are two km values there is minute difference between these km values so if if you take these values and if you calculate km let us see what happens over here so here i am showing you the calculation from graph this particular line we work work plot so minus 1 by km the value is 0.09 minus 0.09 and if i take the reciprocal of that um, uh, for control series and for uh, experimental series if if you plot it for experimental series uh, so there are two minus 1 by km i have uh, got for one for experimental series that is 0.09 and for a control series i got 0.13 if i take a reciprocal of uh, km which is obtained by uh, experimental series then it is 11.11 and for control series it is 7.69 so you can see that the km has increased in the experimental that is with inhibitor uh, series that is Km increases means the affinity between the enzyme and substrate has reduced. Enzyme and substrate affinity has reduced because Km is higher as compared to without inhibitor. So here, hence it is proved that with inhibitor the Km value increases. Okay. In presence of inhibitor the Km value increases. And the Vmax was same as I said there is an intersection and it is common for both. So if I take a reciprocal it is point. 43 millimole per second the unit you have to write over here is millimole per second and here you have to write uh, the unit as millimole per liter okay millimole per liter so this is a unit that we have to mention i forgot to write over here hence i'm writing so this is how you have to calculate and prove so hence it is proved that in presence of competitive inhibitor the affinity between enzyme and substrate get reduced Hence, Km increases and Vmax remains the same. So, by calculating a LB plot, we have proved that. Thank you so much and keep watching.